Hi, this is King of Review. In this problem, we want to solve the system of linear equations using Kramer's rule. So if we have two equations that are in the form ax plus by equals e and cx plus dy equals f, then we can use Kramer's rule to solve the system. That is, find x and y. So Kramer's rule is a method where we use determinants to solve a system of linear equations. Kramer's rule states that we can solve for x by taking the determinant of the x matrix and dividing it by the determinant of the coefficient matrix. And likewise, we can solve for y by taking the determinant of the y matrix and dividing it by the determinant of the coefficient matrix. So let's set up our matrices. The coefficient matrix, the entries in this matrix are the coefficients of our x and y terms. So A, B, C, and D. The x matrix, this one starts with E and F, and you can see that these are the constants in our linear equations. And then we have B and D. And then the Y matrix, this is A, C, E, and F. So this is the setup for the three matrices. So now, let's find the matrices using our specific values. Looking at our system of equations here, what are the coefficients? Well, we have 1, negative 4, negative 1, and 5. So 1, negative 4, negative 1, and 5. The x matrix starts with E and F, which are the constants. So negative 9 and 11, and then B and D, so negative 4 and 5. And then matrix Y, we have 1 and negative 1, and then negative 9 and 11. So we now have our three matrices. Now if you look at Kramer's rule, when we solve for X and Y, we need to know what the determinants of these matrices are. A determinant is a real number associated with a square matrix. So let's say we have the matrix A, B, C, D. If we want to find the determinant, we're going to take the product of the main diagonal, A, D, and subtract the product of the other diagonal, C, B. A, D minus C, B. This will give you the determinant. So let's find the determinant for the coefficient matrix. We'll take the product of the main diagonal, 1 and 5, and subtract the product of the other diagonal, negative 1, negative 4. And when you work this out, this is equal to 1. For the x matrix, we have the main diagonal, negative 9 times 5, minus the product of the other diagonal, 11 and negative 4. And this works out to negative 1. And for the determinant of the y matrix, we have the product of the main diagonal, so 1 times 11, minus the product of the entries in the other diagonal, negative 1, negative 9. And this is equal to 2. So solving for x, we have the determinant of the x matrix. That's negative 1 over the determinant of the coefficient matrix. That's 1. This equals negative 1. So x is equal to negative 1. And for y, we have the determinant of the y matrix, which is 2, over the determinant of the coefficient matrix, which is 1, so this equals 2. We know that y is equal to 2. So now we've solved our system using Kramer's rule. 
Letter C is correct. Thanks for watching.